All right there, VC. It's Steve Witt here. Yeah, it's been a bit of a long time. Um, football's over. Um, well, sorry, England didn't win. Um, I'm proud of how the lads played. Um, and well done to France. Yeah, I can only congratulate the winners. I have, the reason I haven't done any videos recently, um, I've not had the inclination. That's partly because my laptop was full, my hard drive was full, and I didn't really get round to emptying it. Now I've emptied it. Um, I'm back to making videos. I started watching videos again. Um, the enthusiasm is back, so to speak. I mean, sometimes a little bit of a break now and again doesn't do you any harm because um, it can be, you, if it feels becomes making videos becoming a chore, then maybe just take that little bit of a break. This video is a recent fine video. Um, I'm sort of going to catch up slowly on myself. Um, I'm just going to show you some records that I've managed to get hold of. Um, some some pretty good ones, I like, like to think. So, without further ado, let's show you the first one. And this is the Allman Brothers Band. The Road Goes On Forever, for, goes on forever as it says, a collection of their greatest recordings. This was released in 1975, and this came out it's on the Capricorn label. Um, yeah, it's very hard to find any um, Allman Brothers Band um, albums. Well, I haven't it found it difficult to find any. So to see this uh, comp, I was just pleased to pick this pick this up. So there you go. And, and I think 1975 is when the band was at the peak of their powers. Um, um, success wise um, I don't really know that much I mean I do stand to be stand to be corrected and if there's any particular Ormond's Brother album I should really look out for just leave a, leave a comment and just let me know which one it should yeah you know, really is, is the best you know I like going rooting around in the pound bins and I found a copy of Pet Sounds a mono copy um, I believe this may be an original from 1966, but I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, cleaned it up. It plays. That's the important thing. Um, I know people, you know, to some it's the greatest album ever made, and to others um, it's, going back to my last video, overrated. So um, I, I like this album. Um and yeah, re really pleased to find this. I wasn't going to say no to it, even though I've got a reissue that came out in I think 2016. So it was one of the first um, pieces of vinyl I got when I started vinyl, buying vinyl again. Next up, I'm really pleased to find this. This is Buffalo Springfield. Now, this is a greatest hits package that came out in 1973. It's a double album, and you can tell here it's very covers very water damaged. Vinyl plays beautifully. It's a German pressing. It even comes with a beautiful WEA. And there you can see just there the German pressing. So on the Atlantic label. Obviously it's got for what for what it's worth. But to me, having this, I think sort of this stops me having having the need to go and buy the albums again, a bit like the Allman Brothers. Let me get this back in. very difficult to get hold of and that's partly because Buffalo Springfield didn't have that much success in the UK obviously everybody knows who was in the band you know it says on here I don't really need to read read it out here obviously Neil Young and Stephen Stills went on to greater success though uh, um, um, Jim Messina and Richie Fury have their own uh, minor sort of success as well so yeah really pleased to find that that's an unusual find and if you do find that when I find that comp I would recommend it particularly those of you in the UK changing musical styles a little bit um, again I found this in the pound bin this is Buzzcocks uh, in a in a, another music in a different kitchen um their first album from night uh, released in 1978 produced by martin rushant um this is the, the what we call the classic line i'm in the band still going now but um Harold devoto had left um steve diggle had moved to guitar and steve garvey had gone had come in on bass uh, tracks on here um 
Well, I don't mind was the single off here, but you've got Autonomy, which is probably my favourite Buzzcock song. Um, uh, you turn me up, no reply, get on your own, 16. Um, it's a corking album. Buzzcocks, uh, particularly Pete Shell, um, what he was good at. Yeah, he used the punk energy, but it, he wasn't. He knew he was not one for shouting out and singing how rubbish the system was. He wasn't the Clash. He knew he weren't going to be the Clash. However, what he was good at doing is writing songs of what it's like being a teenager, being in love, um, teenage angst, and just do it in a sort of punk style. And to which they followed it up in 1978 with probably their most classic album, Love Bites. Um, and this is the album that's got Ever Fallen In Love on it. Uh, it's also got Real World, um, 16 Again, um, you know, Walking Distance, Love Is Lies. It just is a great album. You know, if you want an album that sort of defines uh, uh, post, uh, 1978, I would say this this does does the trick. Pre-punk, the, the big uh, thing was uh, pub rock, and probably one of the more successful bands that came out of that period was Eddie and the Hot Rods, and this is their album, Life on the Line. A bit of a tasteless cover, <laughs> if you think about it. And we've got various band members hanging on the end of a rope. Uh, this album pretty much is all you need. It's got their biggest hit, do anything you want to do which was a top 10 in 1977 and you've got the follow-up quit this town as well um yeah band with a lot of energy this just does come across on this on this record um sort of a shame that um, they could never really follow it up um i think they're still going in, in various guises i know paul gray who plays bass on this he's back with the damned so um yeah, I, it was, so again, if you find this, again, I found this for the pound. Um, it's worth getting hold of. Uh, my, a, couple, a couple of videos ago, I showed a, a haul of Erasure albums. Um, the first, second, sorry, first, third, and fourth album. And I, it, it meant with some, some comments of being a one trick pony and whatever, but I it's sort of, I do. I do like good music, and I think Erasure did make good 80s pop record. So, again, I found this for a pound. This is Circus. This is the band's second album, and it's probably their breakthrough album. This has got the the big hit single was um, uh, Sometimes, which was a number two single for them in the UK, I think in 1986. The album itself was released in 1987. Um, it doesn't have to, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it doesn't have to be... It was another hit single as well, and the circus, the title track, was a minor hit single. Um, people forget in the UK, Erasure in the late eighties, early nineties, were huge. They were probably the biggest band in Britain. I remember them selling out the NEC, which is the big arena in Birmingham, for something like twelve nights in a row, which is a record that nobody's ever, probably ever, going to likely to break. To be honest, so yeah, I think. Mean, they, 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 yeah, they were a good band, some good songs in there. Again, changing musical styles. And I found this. This is The Best of the Faces. This came out in 1977. Now, this was released on Rod Stewart's own label, Reva. There you go. Um, it's got really everything on here you need from the faces and it covers all periods of the band um let's just put this back in and it, you've got everyone every member's feature so you've got the main photo uh, uh with the band with ronnie lane and then when ronnie lane left he was replaced oh, i'm gonna get get this right with tech by tetsu i think tetsu yami Michi, um who played with three? He, jo he joined the band as uh, Ronnie's replacement. I don't know if he ever actually played on any anything that was recorded. Um, there's one sort of slight exception on to this. This is is by the, the Faces, but the last track on here, it's all over now. Their version version of that is actually Rod Stewart's version, um, which came was on one of these early Rod Stewart solo albums. So, but. 
Feisty's up there with Mop the Hoop or early, early 70s band has just been an absolutely corking band. Um, cannot speak highly enough of them. I was so pleased to find this because, again, finding Feisty's records, it can be expensive. Uh, to me, if I find a comp of a band that you know, I could do with getting some of their vinyls, I'll pick it up. And the final record in this batch, and I'm just showing a batch of 10. Again, I found this in the pound bin. This is Bruce Foxton's debut album. This is called Touch Sensitive. Um, he signed to Arista after the jam splits. Uh, it contains the minor hit single Freak. Um, and But I have to say, the rest of the album is very 80s pop. It's totally different to what I would have expected. Outside writers came in. Totally different to uh, Paul Weller. It's, if you're expecting a sort of Son of Jam album, you'd be very disappointed. Again, I actually, there was two of these albums, so I had to pick one. And the one I picked is actually signed by the man. So, not often I, I get a signed record, but hey, not, it's not too bad, I suppose. Freak's best track on there. So, that's a batch of records I've had recently. Um, um, so it's good. To, it feels good to be back. Actually, it's been good to um, sort of like watch uh, videos and just post a few things on Facebook and you know just enjoy, just join, getting back into the swing of things. Um, so if you've stumbled across the channel for the first time and you like what you see, um, click on the subscribe button. Um, Two hundred seventeen subscribers. I just found got myself another one, which comes a bit surprised because I haven't done much recently. Um, Thumbs up, thumbs down. I love the interaction. Feel free to comment. I'll always try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, enjoy the hot weather. It is absolutely baking in the UK, and I think it is in in the rest of other parts of the world. In America, just spare a thought today for those poor souls in Mexico and Laos that have experienced the, what the backlash of what um, nature can do. So until next time, VC. Take care of yourselves, keep smiling, keep, lis keep listening, and more, more importantly, self, take care of yourselves. Or shall I get it the right way around? Take care of yourselves, keep, keep spinning, and more importantly, keep smiling. Till next time, bye. <laughs>